I'm going to run a test on an ICOM 4KL amplifier. Uh, we're running it with an uh, ICOM 7800. I've had this amp for about five years. Uh, the remote RF deck sits on the floor below the deck. Actually, I have a, uh, it's just temporarily set up. We're uh, doing some remodeling on our uh, shack right now. Uh, running an iMate uh, with a pecker amp in it to uh, tune, an amp, tune the amp. Um, amplifier is fully automatic, band tracks with the radio. It's got a built in tuner. A uh, very durable amplifier. Um, I've uh, really enjoyed it. It's really one of the better transistor amps on the market. Very well built. Uh, and uh, we're going to run it into uh, this um, PowerMaster meter. We're going to check the power input right now. Now it's got the ALC hooked up, so uh, really no way to damage the amp. We're running about 86 watts into it, uh, and uh, that'll be good for the test. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn the amplifier on here. And uh, this is 75 meters where we're testing this. On 10, it drops off to about a thousand watts, but on the uh, on on uh, 160, 80, 40, 20, uh, the amplifier do 1500 plus. There's uh, 1716 watts uh, right there, running into a uh, Alpha 2100 dummy load. So uh, anyway, a very good amp. If you ever have a chance to get one of these, uh, uh, pick you one up and uh, they're very durable. So uh, this is KC5 TJT and uh, thank you very much.